Welcome back to the pregame. Right now it's time for our Hodge, Hodge Construction Player Profile. Tonight it is Tony Rocha, senior captain, center, a little bit of tight end, defensive end, tackle, a little bit of everything. Uh, I mean, I think he's going to be the tubs of this season, gets the end of the backfield at some point. <laughs> well, Tony, uh, looking back, long road trip last week, first time on the road, fall behind 17-7. to uh, Did the team seem like they were getting worried, or did you have to do anything to really keep the guys focused so that you could make the comeback that you did? That was basically just the main goal. We had to stay focused and do the job at hand. We knew that, yeah, we were down, but we always come back second half, and we just ha that just makes us fight harder and makes us push to get that W. Well, the really key play was that shuffle pass where Luke busted it for 61 yards. Break it down for us. What was it that really sprung that play for the, that turned into a touchdown instead of just a couple yards and maybe a Hail Mary attempt at the end? We had some nice key blocks up front for Luke that that play and we knew each lineman had to get their block done and let do let Luke do the rest basically well nice blocks on the outside too one of the things that we really saw in that second half was West Burlington starting to get wore down a little bit uh, did you maybe glance back or think back to some of those gladiator camps and the conditioning drills saying oh yeah this is why coach is making us do this definitely yeah we're definitely one of the most conditioned te teams in the state if not the most all those grass drills, Lombardis, hills, sprints, it all pays off in the end. So I think that's what was key in the West Burlington game. You could tell easily that uh, they were just dying down as the second half started. And as it kept going, and they just kept dying down, dying down. Their line wasn't pushing as much up front. And yeah, conditioning was key in that game. Well, and conditioning and just the fact of being physical. I mean, Coach Peterson talked about finally playing some smash mouth football. Mm -hmm. How is that sinking in now so that you guys know, okay, that's the effort that needs to be put forward every game? Yeah, we just need to, from the first play of the game to the last, be physical up front and then let the outside guys do their jobs, inside guys do their jobs, and we should be good. Smash mouth football, that's how West Branch does it. Well, you're right there in the middle of it uh, as the center. I mean, obviously the smartest position on the football field out there no matter what. But uh, take me through that a little bit, just what you're looking at when you're going up to the line of scrimmage, the reads, being able to make out the calls and get ready so that you can make that snap and throw a perfect strike four yards deep to Cooper every time without even looking. Yeah, it takes a lot. You have to read each guy, see what their front guys are doing, see what their middle linebackers are doing, and then call from there. There's many. There's a bunch of different plays we can call from it from depending on how they're lined up. So we just got to look at that, check that first, see what they're lined up in, and then just take over from there. Well, and it looked like Friday night, uh, different package, kind of a jumbo set where you and John, you know, you rotate at center, but you both took a turn at tight end as well. Did you report yourself eligible? Did you got soft hands to maybe go out and make a catch? Oh, I got great hands. Best hands on the team probably. I just don't get a shine that much. <laughs> You're being held back because you're right in the middle. Yeah. But uh, uh, you also got over on the defensive side of the ball as well. Is there a difference from the defensive side to the offensive side? Or uh, talk a little bit about, you know, the mentality to play defensive tackle. Same mentality, I guess. You just have to, well, of course, the first thing you want to do on both sides of the ball is get your guy off the ball. And offensive and defensively, defensively, that's about the same. You do just as much, you work just as hard on offense and defense to get your guy off the ball. And that's the first goal. Then you just work from there. On defense, you have to, you know, like get your extension, read left to right, which way the play is going. Offense, basically, you just take your guy this in the way he needs to go. I don't know, it's basically the same. Go out and hit somebody that has a different color jersey. <laughs> well, tonight uh, the jerseys for the Bears are going to be a little bit different, uh, having the uh, recognition of the veterans. Has Coach talked about that much, about the significance of this game tonight with uh, honoring the veterans? It's a big game, not only for us, but for the veterans, just to get, just to honor them. That's huge. And I think that's just going to be a big boost for us and make us go out and work harder out on the field. And, yeah. Well, and you've got North Cedar, so added motivation with the Cedar County rival and the fact that it's district play. Uh, what's the scattering report? What are you expecting to see from the Knights tonight? Uh, they're decent size up front. They uh, uh, they have count or blah, blah, blah. run the ball quite. Mouse drive. Oh, run the ball. Uh, they have a Malaby. He's pretty good. Their quarterback. He can throw. He can scramble too. So I guess if we just um, shut them down, then we should be fine. Must have been a hard practice. He's getting dry mouth, cotton mouth over here. But 
Well, we're almost done here, so bear with us a couple more questions. We like to focus uh, not just football because, yeah, it's important, but there's a lot more that you do. Talk about uh, you've got a couple other sports you're involved in, wrestling and golf. I mean, are you a uh, drive for show, putt for dough, you, all areas? Yep. Just perfect everywhere. <laughs> what's your uh, best? What's your go-to club on the golf course? I have a nine wood. It's very rare. Seven wood. That's my club. <laughs> he could use that like ten cup and just do a seven wood across Any the entire club. thing. Any club. He loves it. And how about wrestling? Uh, what do you like about that? It's hard. It pushes you. That's I don't know. It makes you into a man, I guess. Yeah. See some of that success translate out here on the football field. Tony, it's hard to believe that you're a senior already. You're about a third of the way through your senior year of football. Any thought on what you're going to do once you get done here in May? Uh, there's a few choices, but I haven't really came to a, exactly what I want to do yet. I know I, wherever I go, I want to stick somewhere in sports, like sports management or something. So that's that, but it's not really the focus right now. Focus is North Cedars. So. North Cedar Friday. All right. Well, Tony, thanks very much for joining us. Good luck Friday night. Thank you.